face as they travel to enemy territory looking for a win. You're in for a treat as we bring you NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg with Doris Burke reporting from the sidelines. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. Still early in the season, but the front office and coaching staff likes what they are seeing from this team so far. Better winning percentage than last year. You know, I think for Oklahoma City, they've actually taken the NBA by storm since the season kicked off. They put themselves right in the mix with the league's top team when most people thought they'd be bottom feeders. And I know it's early, Clark, but the way they've looked, I think they'll be in that mix all the way to the end. And so off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. And New York, looking at who they've got. Anthony is out there with Quincy Ace. Then it's Matthews. Then there's Shane Larkin. And it's Kufas in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The shot's good from Dines. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Larkin dishes to AC. To the middle. Tries to keep it alive. Outside Durant. Pass to Dimes. Screened by Ibaka. Dimes, the pass to Ibaka. Shot clock at six. Outside for Durant. Cranes it from beyond the arc. I thought the defense really kind of slacked off there. He's going to drill those threes when he gets a good look. Here's Larkin. He's covered by Dimes. The dish now to Carmelo. From 16 feet away, he cans it. Could be the first of many mid-range jump shots we see from him today. And it's Oklahoma City's ball. It's a three-point game. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. You know, so often in the NBA, we talk about how you have to earn your points the hard way, but it didn't seem like that was the case. Everything came pretty easily. Too many of their points came the easy way, Steve. You're right, on dunks and layups against the defense that didn't run through their rotation than they would have liked to, and that's always tough. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Kicks it to Kufus. Six on the shot clock. The 19-foot shot. And again, Carmelo Anthony. Anthony's got his second bucket. I like his tenacity getting to the basket there, even though the dunk rattled out. 99 times out of 100, you'll get the dunk or the foul. Now here's Anthony. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Golden State. Anthony right side and there are the Knicks with another bucket talk about a great start three of three from the field to get the game going they're cooking with gas folks the Thunder have gone three of five shooting the ball so far first quarter of play we're about three minutes in dimes the pass to Ibaka here's dimes it's coming off an unbelievably high scoring game Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. That's good. Wade's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And a lot of times, his first quarter seems to dictate how big of a role he plays later on, and he's off to the good start. Anthony kicks to AC. And the pass to Kufus. The feed now to Larkin. New York moving it around. And Anthony with the basket on the assist by Larkin. And that's now nice. Grabs the miss. New York trailing. It's Anthony with the drive. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. First miss of the game after four makes, so it's been a hot start. Dimes the pass to Adams. Here's Dimes. He kicks it to Durant. Releases. Again, the Thunder score. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. Knicks trail by three. Here's Larkin. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Unloads from nine. They're leaguing points per game. Such a great play. 
And you just can't say enough about the value of a player like him who can attack a defense in so many different ways from the point. Yeah, you know, you're right. For him to be providing the individual scoring he has, as well as keeping all his teammates so involved in the offense, that's a hard job, and it's an ideal combination for a point guard. You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to put an extra body on him, get some help when he barrels his way in close. He's such a good finisher. He needs more than one guy to defend him. And Clark, you saw a very animated huddle that last break, and I'm sure the coach wanted something specific from his team. Well, Kevin, this is certainly a key moment for the squad. And he's looking for games. I like that creativity, double clutching to catch the defender on the way down. I can go for that. I can go for that. Larkin kicks to Anthony. Bargnani sets the screen for Anthony. Hardaway passes to Carmelo. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Thunder trailing by four. Jones with the screen on Hardaway. Dimes. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. What a play. That's not as easy as it made it look, guys. You've got to have some skill. Jones, New York takes possession. Difficult to explain that turnover. I mean, I guess he thought he had more room than he did, but he really lost his place on the court. And the Thunder making a switch here. Lamb's checked in. Jeremy Lamb. Anthony left side. From the baseline. And he gets it to go. Thunder trailing by four. Setting the four for the Knicks. Quincy AC out there with Coach Koopas. Then there's Hardaway. Then it's Anthony. And it's Matthews in at the two. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. Hands checked in. Outside Matthews. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Anthony, no one around. Good on the triple. Anthony's got 22. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Boy, their frenetic defense has really been impressive, putting a lot of pressure on ball handlers and turning them over. You know, another thing they've done well, guys, this first half is challenge shooters and change shots. A bunch of block shots early. And Kevin Durant with the slam. Really hard to decide, guys, which was better, the pass? The catch or the slam? Clark, there's no wrong answer to that one, my friend. <laughs> Sensational alley oop all the way around. Agreed, agreed. All of the above. That one goes. Count it. No, he missed that one. Great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. Yeah, not enough defensive coverage there to prevent him from firing that time. But uh, yeah, I think if he's open, he's got to let that thing fly. But Trey. No luck. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That will complete this four-game homestand. Well, you know the fans out in Charlotte are desperately hoping for a win there. Out of this world, <laughs> aerial skin. Here's Dimes. Outside Durant. Pass to Dimes. Ibaka with a screen on Anthony. Here's Dimes, looking to end. Oh, look out! Oh, 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 oh. Get about going for the long-range bomb. The block. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. Wesley Matthews checked in for New York. Off the inbound, and then... That misses badly. Air ball. Well, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding when you look at the numbers, but it certainly feels a lot bigger than it is. Well, the score has a lot to do with that, Clark. Just based on that, you'd think the rebounding gap would be huge. Here's Dimes. Great use of the pick to create room for the jump movement, the player movement, a great rhythm to their offense. Clearly seems to me a different mindset between these teams. Here's Dimes. Takes a big high bounce and goes in. He's got 25. Solid screen right there that freed him up for the jump shot. Larkin kicks to Anthony. Here's AC. Larkin dishes to AC. 
Six to shoot. The drive by Anthony steps back and shoots. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Well, it's kind of been the story here today, hasn't it, Clark? Thunder trailing by 19. They double him with Matthews. Waiters passes to Ibaka. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Honored by Dimes. The defense needs to play tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. In low to Ibaka. Takes it up with Bull. The baseline jumper goes down. Anthony's got fifth. Intimidated at all. They were the aggressors. So no problem for New York as they get the win. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And now let's go over to Doris Burke on the sideline for an interview with the Jordan player of the game. Doris, take it away. Carmelo, we have a question from one of your biggest fans. How do you get off your shots when you're in such a tight coverage situation, a defender right in your grill? It's easy. If my man back off on me, shoot it. If I got two, pass the ball, find somebody else. Thank you so much. Back to you guys at the table. Thank you, Doris. And that'll wrap it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and thanks for tuning in. Man, I know the team had a bad night, but I feel a little better knowing it wasn't as bad as your night. Hey, man, back off, all right? It's not like you led us to victories while I tried to bring us down. You're not perfect. Relax, man. I'm just messing with you. Just let it go. Get back on that horse tomorrow. Easy for you to say. You didn't embarrass yourself out there. I did. Forget it. The best shooters don't remember the misses. What misses? I got amnesia. That's the spirit. <laughs>